peace and love y'all. I hope y'all are having an incredible day. And today we are very excited because we're gonna do our first book review. Now here at RFA, you know we're all about empowering you to become a better marketer, a better entrepreneur, and a thriving business. So there's no better way for me to help you and set you off to the track of being successful other than for me to share this book with you. I started reading this book about two months ago and it has transformed the way that I do things not only within my business, but also within my personal life. So I wanted to share this with you, okay? Now, if you are not reading on at least a monthly basis, you're honestly limiting yourself and your potential to becoming that better version of yourself. That version of yourself that's hitting your goals, making the money you wanna make, traveling, living the life of freedom that you wanna live. So we decided to start doing a book review series. Before we jump in, for those of y'all that are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and click that like button and share it with someone who's looking to build million dollar habits and get out of those bad habits that are stopping them from accelerating their brand. Now the reason we chose million dollar habits is because it starts from the number one core principle which is building strong habits in order to take your life to the next level. So if you're someone that wants to level up and achieve your goals, you definitely have to read this book. And I'm gonna give you a brief review of this book so that you know how incredibly powerful it is and how it can change your life. So the first thing that this book touches on is habits and how difficult they are to break. Habits are very similar to a spider web. Initially, when the spider first starts creating that spider web, it's very easy to break. But once the spider continues to build and build and build, they become extremely difficult to break. Now, this is very interesting as well. Bad habits are a lot harder to break than easy habits are. So if you've been going through your life forming bad habits, it's a little bit more difficult to break. Not saying that you can't break them because everyone has bad habits, but it's a little bit more difficult to break. So what we wanna do is change that cycle and get you into some good habits, some good millionaire habits that are gonna help you to thrive. Now there's some really key principles in this book that are gonna help you along your journey to building those strong forming habits. And the first principle is self-thought. Now I don't know if you consider this, but you become what you think about most of the time. So how do you see yourself? How do you view yourself in this world? Are you negative talking yourself? Are you doubting yourself? You should be seeing yourself as being successful. And another key thing that this book breaks down is the more you visualize your success, the more successful you become. So what you wanna start doing is visualizing your success on a daily basis to help set that trajectory in the right path. Do this every day and this will help to put you in the position to become more successful. So to go even further, you should be filling your mind with positive things on a daily basis. He also goes on to say that you should be reading every day as well. Now I know we have busy jobs and we have life and things like that, but if you can read or put yourself in front of a positive podcast or put yourself in front of a positive YouTube channel such as our Rich From Anywhere YouTube channel and just absorb the positivity and the success your life is gonna be way better off and you're gonna start to build a very strong habit if you do this daily. Also, you should be setting very specific goals for yourself. And when I say specific, it's not, oh, I wanna earn six figures this year. It's, I am going to earn $50,000 this month or I am going to earn $1 million this year. Be very specific with your goals and use the phrase I am to empower yourself and know that it's very achievable so that you can start to feel that energy now even though you haven't manifested that yet. Another major key principle that this book goes over is taking action, becoming an action taker. Honestly, action taking is a skill set in itself because a lot of people sit on their goals and sit on their dreams and sit on the sideline like, man, I wish I could just do it. Well, then do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't be hard for you to take action. Even if you don't have it all the way figured out, take action, take action, take action. One of the phrases that I really took from this book that honestly means the world is talk less, do more. Don't talk about what you're gonna do, do it. Take that action, let people see what you're gonna do. Let your action do the talking for you and become more successful. What's gonna start happening, and this is pretty incredible, is once you visualize your success daily, once you're reading daily, once you're instilling yourself with all these positive things, opportunities are gonna start to come towards you. When those opportunities come, you have to take action. You can't sit around and wait, you have to do it now, all right? So you have to be prepared for that, okay? Become an action taker today. 
Now for us, we've gotten a lot of different opportunities thrown our way and we've taken action on them and that's why we are in the position that we are in. We still have goals and things we wanna do as well, but when those opportunities come, we always jump on those opportunities and that helps to take us to the next level time and time again. Think about your favorite entrepreneur. Think about your favorite brand. Think about your favorite businesses, all right? They are all action takers. Take Oprah Winfrey, for example. Her life wasn't all gold and diamonds and everything initially. She was working at the news and she received a few opportunities that she jumped on and took action on to help her to get to that next level. And I'm sure during the course of her career, she had plenty of opportunities that she took action on immediately. She had an idea, she wanted to do it, and she did it. Now, this last principle that I'm gonna get into might throw some of y'all off, because when I read this, it kind of threw me off for a second, but then I was like, you know what? No, he's absolutely right. And that's taking vacation. Now, he says that you should take up to three months worth of vacations every year. Reason being is because you wanna treat yourself for all your hard work. You wanna treat yourself for all that action taking that you've been doing, for all those, those positive habits that you've been building. You wanna treat yourself for up to three months a year. And once you build these strong habits and you begin to take action and seize these opportunities, you're gonna be able to take these vacations and really treat yourself. Now that doesn't mean to not do anything in the meantime in the other nine months of the year. That doesn't mean to slack off and just vacation all of the year. No, it means to work hard, to take that action, to continue to build those habits, and then take some time off. Our mentor in our coaching program that we paid six figures to be in, he takes a lot of vacations, but he is ultra successful, mega multi-millionaire. And you know, you have to treat yourself because you want to feel good, you want to spend that time with your family or you know, go skydiving or whatever it is that gets you happy and gets you going. But you definitely want to treat yourself consistently. So imagine this, Th just think about this, right? Your brand is thriving. You're making the money that you want to make. You're taking action. You're building strong habits. And then you decide, okay, let me go ahead and go on vacation. And while you're on vacation, your business is still booming and still moving the way that you want it to move while you're spending the time doing the things that you love. Can you imagine that? Because I can. To summarize it, this book is absolutely incredible. I highly recommend that each and every one of you get it. We have a couple links in the description for you to check it out for yourself. Million Dollar Habits, y'all. You do not wanna sleep on this book. It's a great way to start building strong habits and helping you to get to that next level. And it's RFA recommended.